in case of intrastellar secondary growth, that is the intrastellar changes, formation of vascular cambium, then activity of vascular cambium, and annual rings, that is springwood and autumnwood, and heartwood and sapwood, that all constitute what it is intrastellar secondary growth. For this formation of what it is vascular cambium, in case of dicot stem, the xylem and phloem on the same radius, so it is collateral, joined, conjoint, and there is a cambium in between primary xylem, primary phloem. What do you call it? It is intravascular cambium, it is primary or fascicular, vascular cambium. The medulla it is parenchymatous, medullary ray it is also parenchymatous. The medullary ray undergo dedifferentiation and forms strips of the cambia, what do you call it is interfascicular cambium. The intrafascicular cambium being primary, interfascicular cambium being what it is secondary and collectively the cambium, what do you call it is vascular cambium. This vascular cambium is partly primary, partly secondary. So, vascular bundles which are collateral, conjoint, open, end or present in a concentric circle in dicot stem is eustil. In between primary serum, primary fluid, the cambium which is called intrafascular cambium that is primary. Medullary ray undergo dedifferentiation that is medullary ray parenchyma undergo dedifferentiation and forms a strips of cambia what do you call intrafascular cambium that is completely secondary. Intrafascular cambium being primary, intrafascular cambium being secondary, collectively what do you call it is vascular cambium. This vascular cambium is partly primary, partly secondary. So, formation of vascular cambium first initiated with the formation of what it is interfascular cambium. And activity of vascular cambium. The vascular cambium activity differ in case of different season. It differs in different seasons. The vascular cambium activity, it is highly active in case of spring season. New leaves are formed, new flowers are formed, require more amount of what it is water, minerals and food. So, vascular cambium gives more tissues inside, that is in spring, the xylem vessels are with wider cavities, more in number, what do you call the wood, it is spring wood or early wood, that is less dense wood. And in case of autumn season, plant shed off its leaves require less amount of water and mineral, vascular cambium become less active. So, it produces few vessels with the smaller cavities, the wood it is called autumn wood or late wood. So, in one year, spring wood or early wood, autumn wood or late wood, it is much dense wood. As second is LM, now, what do you call it? it is the wood. So, it produces secondary serum inside, secondary phloem what it is outside, secondary phloem otherwise it is called bast, secondary serum otherwise it is called wood and primary serum will be pushed to what it is center, primary phloem will be crushed or pushed to what it is the periphery. In between primary xylem and primary phloem, secondary vascular tissues are present. Suppose this is VC, vascular cambium, it is secondary xylem. Suppose we demarcated it as A, B, C, D as secondary xylem. Which is the oldest secondary xylem? D is oldest. And just formed xylem A, it is youngest. So, youngest secondary serum located just below vascular cambium. And uh, 
oldest secondary phloem nearer to primary phloem z it is oldest secondary phloem and x it is youngest so youngest secondary phloem just outside vascular cambium youngest secondary serum just inside where it is vascular cambium more amount of secondary serum formed inside less amount of secondary phloem formed what it is outside in case of where it is activity of where it is vascular cambium and spring wood and autumn wood and in this the vascular cambium produces radiating structures uni bi or multi seriate which is present in xylem called xylem ray and phloem called phloem ray collectively what do you call it is vascular rays in primary plant body primary medullary rays extension of medulla in secondary plant body secondary medullary rays nothing but what it is vascular rays xylem ray as well as phloem ray helps in radial conduction uni by or multi seriate structures formed by means of what it is interfascicular cambium so secondary vascular these xylem ray phloem ray vascular rays which is secondary vascular rays so we can demarcate autumn wood of first year and spring wood of second year based on number of vessels as well as its cavities lumina so the spring wood and autumn wood together constitute what it is one growth ring one growth ring one growth ring another growth ring another growth ring so growth ring constituted by spring wood and autumn wood growth ring formed by the activity of vascular cambium nothing but what it is secondary xylem so growth rings are found below vascular cambium so growth ring constituted by spring wood and autumn wood formed by the activity of vascular cambium which are distinct in temperate regions where seasonal variations are well marked why absent in case of tropical region seasons are absent or seasonal variations are absent seasonal variations which are absent so we can estimate age of the tree by counting number of annual rings what do you call dendrochronology so annual ring the spring wood and autumn wood this secondary xylem loses power of conduction lumen of the vessels become infiltrated with the food aromatic substances oil and uh, gums becomes dark in colored such wood what do you call it is hot wood for conduction the wood formed what do you call it is sap wood you will see this hot wood and uh, sap wood